Comment 204 isn't about abbreviation that often people feel inclined to make. And it's totally understandable that they would want to make this abbreviation. Um, so what you mean, let's say something is 200 pounds and you want to say 50% of the price is 100 pounds. What people often write instead of 50% of the price is 200 pounds is they write 50% equals 100. Now that is wrong because 50% is just a fraction, it's just 50 over 100. So in other words it's a decimal and 50 over 100 is definitely not equal to 100 and 0 0.5 is definitely not equal to 100. So so that you can still save time but not use the equal sign where it doesn't apply, I've recommended that you just use the word is. So you say 50% is 100 pounds or whatever. Um, and, uh, and therefore, because you're not using a technical symbol, people will be more likely to give you, um, to forgive you for something that's not technically correct. When you write 50% is 100, people will understand that you mean 50% of the price is 100 pounds. The same thing, um, as I've said in the comment, applies not just to um, percentages, but to fractions. So if, if I was talking about a quarter of that, I would say a quarter is 50 pounds. And finally, I've said, um, let's say you had to reduce something by 10%. I would go 200 um, minus 10% of the amount. I would never write 200 pounds minus 10% because technically that is 200 pounds minus 10 over 100, which is 0 0.1, and 200 pounds minus 0 0.1 is definitely not what I have in mind when I write a sentence like that. So anyway, comment 204 is just saying stick the word is in between statements of this kind rather than an equal sign.